YouTube, what is going on? Stuff Seller here, October 1st, 2020, coming at you with another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm a part-time reseller, retired law enforcement, USN veteran. I buy and resell, and I try to specialize in some of the unusual stuff that you'll see coming up. Today is a scorcher here in California, San Diego. It is over 100 degrees, pretty hot. It was hot yesterday, hot today. My San Diego Padres finally made this, the playoffs in this uh, pandem pandemic times. And guess what? They lost the first game yesterday to the St. Louis Cardinals. Wow, San Diego can't catch a break. But anyways, we got another game today. Hopefully they can pull off a win and then um, go to game three. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, I went to a uh, an estate sale today, picked up some items that I'll be showing you. Also at the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about an unusual box that I bought a couple weeks back at a garage sale. Didn't know nothing about it. Uh, just thought they were cool and I knew there was going to be some money there to be made I just didn't know how much and I'm going to show you some of the great sales from that box so stand by <music> here all right so we're gonna pause the Cincinnati picker there for a minute and I am gonna show you what I picked up today October 1st Thursday at an estate sale so this estate sale was in El Cajon California picked all this stuff up here and we'll go through it for $220 two hundred and twenty dollars and there's money to be made nothing home run like I'm gonna show you at the end but some good uh, some good sales that I believe will will occur so first off this has a price of sixty nine ninety five brand new realistic FM wireless intercoms and these go for I don't know anywhere 30 to 40 bucks maybe even a little bit more new in the box old technology but old technology still does sell these caterpillars are in the original box um, they are dusty I'm gonna have to get those cleaned off. They still have the tags, never been worn. Look these up, they go anywhere from $75 to $100. And it's a good size, I think it's a size nine. So we'll get those cleaned up and get them listed. Uh, original, I think it had original tag of 119. I always pick up old hardware. This is a, a brass door knocker. I'm not sure if it's made in the USA. Sometimes if it's made in the USA, it's more valuable. Uh, this says Connecticut, so possibly original sticker price was $19 on that. Um, I've never sold these filters before. But I looked them up real quick, and these sell for about 15, 20 bucks each. And I got three of them. Whirlpool ice and water filters. This was kind of interesting. It's a um, French Lombard Rosé, Ernest and Julio Gallo. Kind of a wine uh, display. This slides open very dusty I'll have to clean them off but it's all made of wood let me see if I can even get this to slide 
course I won't go in the camera. But that's fine. There's three full bottles in there. Uh, not sure if that has any value. Um, but I'm going to clean it up and probably put it in my bar. I just like the look of it. Picked up this Panasonic cassette tape recorder in the box. I thought it was new, but then when I started looking at it, it's dusty on the inside. So I'll have to test it and see if it even works. So that may be a bust, but if it works, it'll sell. It'll sell for 20, 25 bucks. Picked up some Wrangler shirts, uh, Pearl Snap, winter is coming. And this stuff will sell. And what I like is Made in USA. If you watch my videos, I always look for Made in USA clothing. So these are Pearl Snap, kind of a thick shirt, jacket. That's one. This is another Pearl Snap. This one does not say Wrangler. It almost feels like a Pendleton, but I can't find a tag anywhere. I just like the colors on that. And it's a Pearl Snap. This one is a Wrangler. Again, made in the USA. Pearl Snap Blue. It's got the Wrangler logo there. These, I'm thinking 25, 30 bucks each, possibly. This is a Caterpillar jacket made by Turning Point. This is not made in the USA, but it's a size XXL. Pretty cool jean jacket. This is really cool. This is um, US Navy CBs. That's all embroidered in there. Uh, military shirt. I probably are dated. I'm going to date this to Vietnam era. So we'll have to look that up and see. Uh, I would say at least 30 to 40 bucks on this. Um, pick this security jacket up and the only reason I picked it up is because it still has the badge and I like the badge and it has I noticed later this whistle made in England interesting um, it's a nice jacket it's got a patch and it's got a patch on the back so security so someone that runs a security business or work security may need this. I'll probably sell the badge separate and it's a horse small. Again, 220 for everything. I like this vest. It is leather made in Mexico. Piel Genuina. That means uh, genuine leather, size 44. That's pretty cool. Kind of a Western look on it. Western vest, pretty cool. Picked up some jerseys. This is a Minnesota Vikings, number 11. And this is made by McGregor Sandnet 48. Tailor exclusively for the Minnesota Vikings. Huh. So I'm wondering if this is uh, kind of a game worn shirt or something. I don't know. But it says Anderson on the back. I believe he was a quarterback there at one point. So I'll have to do some research on this one. Interesting. Um, then I got a Dan Marino, Miami Dolphins, it's a Wilson, this one is made in the USA, and it has Marino on the back, which is pretty cool, old school. 
picked up a bunch of hats. Um, this is a Mac tool hat. Looks like it's new. Uh, this one says lay. Let me see if I figure out how the plastic here. Get a better look. Uh, it's sealed. Lay Mercenaire. I don't know. And then these all say case. Originally, I thought they were case knives. This is a camel print. But I may be wrong. So I have to do some research. I think they may be to a company. Um, construction company. These are kind of a foam hat case. Uh, these are all the same here, these black ones. And then those are. Um, picked up another jersey here. This is, looks like a soccer jersey. ASR. It has a name on the back. I'll have to do some research on that as well. I'm not a big soccer guy, Nakata. Picked up these trolls. I thought they were older, but just because they were dusty doesn't mean they're old. Um, so not sure. I've had these before, and I've had some that are made in the USA, but I think these are newer. So I don't know if there's value there. I'm sure there is some value, but not what I was expecting. These is a transistor radio c box i don't think it's brand new hopefully the battery is not corroded in there but it comes with the original box this was pretty cool i never seen this before this is a stick shick and it has kind of a stick shift at the end of the handle this goes for about 15 bucks i picked it up because i never seen it before and i do like selling razors picked up this lock even though i don't have a key to it um the reason i picked it up made it in germany sometimes there's lock collectors out there that just like the locks so we'll see this is uh an international and it is made in the USA if you can see I don't know if I'll zoom in there Erdl company I don't I think it's on this side made in the USA let's see it there on the side it is missing the rubber front wheels but that's my 20 25 dollar item there I uh, thought these glasses were pretty cool. They have to be cleaned up, very dusty. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, if you remember this cartoon, you're probably my age or older. <laughs> and uh, Spike, I don't know where this guy comes from. Looks familiar, but um, I don't remember the character. 1975, Spike. This is a practical practical lessons in the English or use of English. And the reason I picked this up was it is dated. Let's see, 1891. Interesting. 1891. So we'll see if there's any value there. I do like pick, picking up old books. Then in this box here, just some miscellaneous stuff. It's a Tonka trailer, horse trailer. Um, these Ace blades. I'll probably lock these up. Some reflectors. Metal bells. More blades, and then this is um, a Ford F-150 manual. 
car manual. So if someone has a Ford F-150, they don't have a manual, they'll need that. And then lastly, this little brass plaque. I thought was interesting. Like a woman, the rigging costs more than the hull. So, interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to go on a boat or, or what. So, oh, yeah, and then we got this Larry Bird basketball. Don't know why I picked this up, but Larry Bird's pretty famous basketball player. And it is not made in the USA, it's made in Korea. So, we'll see. Not sure if there's any value there. But stay tuned, I'm going to show you my big uh, sales on a small box. Stay tuned. Okay, so this was my um, big sales, big find. A couple weekends ago, I went to a garage sale, and this was the exact box that it was in, and it had a bunch of equestrian items in there. Um, these horse bits. And kind of leather straps and stuff. And I went, took the whole box. I didn't, didn't know a lot about it. Didn't look them up. Just thought they were interesting. Wanted to see what they were worth. And took it up to the uh, lady running the garage sale and asked her how much for the box. And she told me 40 bucks. And I tried to talk her down. I said, uh, would you take 25? And she said no. She said that uh, she could probably sell these for more. But she just wants to get rid of them. 40 bucks. Well, I'm glad I picked them up. I gave her the 40 bucks. There were three of these horse bits in there. Two of them were silver. Like this one, I believe, is silver. It's not marked. The other one was marked that I sold. But this one is not marked. So I ended up selling this one here with the straps for $275 and that's going to get shipped out tomorrow $275 just for this one I sold another one without the straps and it was marked silver um, I don't think the whole thing is silver I think just kind of the um, the ornaments around it are silver or silver on it and I sold that one for $190 and then I sold another one that didn't have as ornate, ornate um, decorative uh, metal on it. And I sold that one for $76. I probably should or could have got more. But I put it at auction and that's what it sold for. This one I put it up uh, after the other two sold. I put this one up for $299. Someone shot me an offer right away at $250. I counted back at 275 and I took it and they took it and that's what it sold for. I probably could have held out for the 299 and probably would have gotten it pretty easy. But um yeah, so what is that? So uh, say uh 275 plus 75 is 350 plus another close to 200. So five over five hundred dollars, forty dollars investment from this little box. Forty dollars at the five hundred. Take that every day. All right. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.